Welcome to Sculpture Studios. Joining us today with a little footage here of a project that we made for Northland School, right here in our hometown of Basildon. Lucy Baldwin, I mean Miss Baldwin, assistant head to the children, got in contact with us, presumably after seeing some of the other work that we've made for schools in the past. From giant BFG feet for our library entrance, acorn pods for children to sit and read inside, pirate ship bookcases, we're certainly well versed by now in this sort of child-friendly school theming. A few ideas were bounced around in regards to an entrance area to the school, and two large trees with a confirmed project. We're naturally going to be sprucing things up with a couple of extra embellishments. See what I did there? Spruce? It's a tree. Anyway. But the main thing is that these fit the space, are safe to touch, and really give that wow factor as you enter the building. Now, we've dug these clips up from a little while back, and everything was all go in the studio, so there's bound to be a couple of bits we're missing, but we thought that's no reason why we shouldn't put something together anyway for you guys, and I'll try and fill in the blanks along the way. For more detailed tree videos, there's a couple of links in the description below, and I've chucked in a couple of our other school projects, so go and take a look. Everything here is being blocked out and carved from polystyrene and fixed together using a polyurethane expanding foam. We've used handheld hot wires and the hot wire table to cut the bulk of the main shapes and we're then going to town with nail and wire brushes to hone the cubist forms into round branches. Of course, we're going over with our secretly sourced sticky back tinfoil to protect the polystyrene from the resin that's going to be going on top. It takes a while to make sure everything is covered, particularly as it's a bit of a task to get all the way around each branch, there's a lot more surface coverage than first meets the eye, but with the branches being so thin, we also need to be extra thorough as we can't afford any breaches and for the resin to burn away and weaken an already thin shape. How's it going, Kevin? alright. Yeah, be burnishing that metal on there. Um, yeah, using just a nice wooden tool helps to kind of push out all the creases. As this is an inside installation, with what we call a captive audience, this needs to be somewhat fire protected. So for this project we're using a class O rated resin as opposed to a general purpose, as this has a higher flame resistance for a school environment. The polystyrene that's staying on the inside of the job is also FR grade or fire rated, and the foil layer will also slow the process down even more. Once all of the resin has cured, the entire surface needs to be sanded back to remove any sharp points, and then rather than going on with our water-based concrete, like a lot of our tree projects, we're going over with a flow coat of resin. This leaves a much smoother finish for all the little wandering hands that are going to be going past. Aidan's just taking a trip to site to see where the trees are going to be set up and the space provided, and this just gives us a better idea of what to expect when we get there on the day with the actual sculptures. Extra branches are also being created to install purely on the ceiling itself, so it's good to be able to see where the trees are going to be situated and how best to map these out. The leaves for the trees are also going to be flame resistant, and thankfully will be out of the reach of the traffic underneath. Though we've measured everything here at the studio, and Aidan's been to site and measured the doorways, you can never be too careful. So we've mocked up a frame under our main shutters here at the studio to have a bit of a dummy run, dummy being very much the appropriate word for our crew. With limited access on site, it can often be somewhat of a squeeze.
onto site now. Fortunately we're getting in not only whilst the school is closed, but it looks like we're beating the rush of many more new things being moved in as well, so at least we've got plenty of space. The trees are being installed, fixed to both the floor as well as the ceiling, and all the little extras going up as well. Here he is. Talk to us about the owl. Who? Who? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Boo! <laughs> yeah. That snowy goes in there. We got over about 35 butterflies like that, just hidden around the whole area. It's just uh, pretties the whole thing up a bit. A bit more fantasy sort of world. Kept this area nice and open on this corner, so we brought that tree back a little bit. This uh, fan light above us it just lets all the, the light come in. It's really quite good. And we've made this long trunk here with the loads of drops on it, so they can hang things off of that as well. So essentially, come around the corner, nice and full, nice and busy. So there we go, two custom made trees for the Northland School here in Basildon. Many thanks to Miss Baldwin for getting in contact and bringing this into reality for all of the staff and students. Please feel free to leave any comments below as they're always appreciated and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for our latest videos. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram via the links below and for all of our true diehard fans out there you can now become a patron of our studio. All of our supporter contributions go toward the creation of these videos, so if you enjoy our content, you know what to do. Becoming one of our credited patrons means you'll be featured at the end of our upcoming YouTube projects like these guys here, so visit the Patreon link with this video to show your support. However big or small, it's greatly appreciated from all of us here at Sculpture Studios. Thank you very much for watching.